Team Scrambler Pipelines.com. I am at the Bald Eagle Boxing Gym in Washington, D.C. We're here because um, the fighters uh, who are going to be fighting on the undercard of Bernard Hopkins versus Schumann Arvin, super fight in Washington, D.C. I trained in here. Uh, Bernard Hopkins is behind us, but also training in the gym in preparation for an all important fight against Paulie Malamaki is Sean Porter. Now, Sean Porter, please meet you, champ. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes. Now, Sean Porter is a champion. He bull rushed his way into the boxing line light. Uh, was it last year? Last year, December 7th. Yes, uh, tell us about that fight. How did uh, you do it? Just a great night, uh, great fight plan. Yeah. We came in wanting to est establish ourselves, establish our dominance. Yes. Um, use our speed, but also use a lot of power, smother uh, Devin Alexander. And um, that was the game plan. It worked for 12 rounds of work. Okay, yes, yes. And now in that fight, you fought uh, Devin Alexander. Was that correct? Yes, sir. How did that fight go? It went great. It, w it went exactly like, like we thought it would. Um, okay. I didn't allow him to use his speed or his quickness. So yes, yes. we did what we wanted to do. Nobody was expecting you to pull that fight out of the fire on your team. Yeah. How was that feeling? Uh, great feeling. Um, not so much to you know shut up critics, but just to say I'm here. Yes. You know? And it was a, a great night for team quarter. Okay. Why do you think you were underestimated uh, for that fight? Uh, I think uh, to this point I've been, you know, somewhat under the radar. Yes. You know, I was a, a top amateur, yes. you know, and, you know, top amateur turned pro, you know, so yes. I just, you know, it was up until that point that, you know, very few people knew about me and they just said, you know, we know this name, let's go with this guy. But, you know, I, I came in there, I, you know, I proved that I have a lot um, to do in this sport. I proved that I am um, worthy of the IBF champion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how does it feel to be champion at last? Beautiful, man. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. Okay. Well, did that come ahead of time? Uh, because it's all you were an underdog. Did you see yourself winning the championship so soon? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, um, I always say everything happens for me on time. God has, has blessed me and my team. And, you know, with that being said, it, it took a while to get there. But when it came, my whole team, we were smiles coming out to the ring. We knew what was going to happen. We knew what was going to take place. And we, we did it. What was it about Devon Alexander that got you so, that you were so sure about? Uh, I, just, I just knew that I was better than him. You know, not to put him down or anything like that, but I just knew that going to the ring, I would be the better fighter. Not the better person. Just a better fighter in the ring. And with that being said, I mean, I, I think uh, all my actions spoke in the ring, and uh, we took care of business. Okay. Well, the, the uh, fight fans were really uh, impressed with your performance, and you know, you've uh, generated a lot of uh, positive reviews um, by boxing fans. Now, not too many people know that you also won the, you know, I think, was it the Naval title? I've won them all. Um, at 154, I won the NABO. At uh, 47, I won the uh, NABO, yes. NA, uh, I, uh, NABF, yes. uh, a couple more, the, the uh, USBA. Okay. And that's what got me right to get the idea. Yeah, to get it, okay. Now, tell us about your amateur background. Uh, man, just a, a long, long, long journey to get to where I am right now. I started uh, fighting when I was eight years old. Okay. I've uh, competed in just about every national tournament you can in, in the U.S. and I've also won more, so that's great. I was Olympic um, ultimate in 2008. I was 2007 uh, Pan American team member, and uh, I fought on numerous uh, U.S. championship teams and, and uh, world teams. And all that kind of so, what does it mean now to be fighting Paulie Malignaggi? Now, Malignaggi is no stranger. Crazy, we simply beat Sab Judah. How does it feel to be fighting? Somebody with such a story, their background, their Honestly, at this point, I'm looking at him like he's an older man. You know, uh, I'm looking at him like he's done everything that I've done. He just did it a little bit sooner than I did. You know? okay. And with that being said, we we have a great game plan. We know that um, he's going to have a lot to adjust to yeah. on Saturday night, and we'll be good. Okay, now how's your training camp going in preparation? Training for camp is done. Okay. Training camp is done. It was a great camp. Uh, no hiccups at all. Uh, everything has been just marvelous. Okay. Smiles day and night. Okay. Now, um, well, uh, tell fans, I mean, how, how are you approaching this fight? What should 
five suits you man to watch this fight you're looking for. Y'all should look for the same thing y'all always look for when y'all watch Showtime Sean Porter. A lot of punches, a lot of energy, a lot of movement, a lot of power, a lot of aggressiveness, the defense. And uh, you can see me coming out of that ring Saturday night with Dive Tiger. Okay. And I mean, uh, with, with Coley, I mean, uh, what, from what you've observed, have you watched any? Uh, watched it all. Fight, fight. Yeah, watched it all. Okay. I, I mean, I just I just know, again, we're going there, we're going to be the fight that night. I know, I know what he has to bring. He has speed. He has quickness. He has smarts. He, he, can, he can throw his hands. He'll throw 100 punches around. I know that. He, he's a hustler. Yes. He's a hustler. Good thing about him, a hustler. Yeah, but the main uh, right against him is that he's better fisted. That I had hand injuries so much yes. in my career. You know, a lot of times, the knockout portion of your career, where you're getting a lot of knockouts, yeah. it's the early part of your career where you're fighting the opponents that you're going to get knockouts in. That part of my career was all injury riddled in, with my hands. So yes. I would probably have at least double the amount of knockouts on my record, uh, if not for my hand injuries at okay. that point in my career. So, how many knockouts do you have? I have I have 13 to 14 knockouts out okay. of out of uh, 24 fights. Okay. Um, but with that being said, it's boxing. Anything can happen okay. anytime. I'm not going in there with my hands down saying hit me. Um, not responsible on defense. Yeah, I will be responsible on defense. I will make the miss. I will block his shots. Okay. And be just as responsible on defense as I am. Okay. Now, uh, being that you're the underdog um, in, in this um, fight. Um, what will a win mean to you? A win against Paul Malinaki is, is, uh, is, is, at this point, there's nothing better than that. Um, the accolades that this guy's done, has had, and, you know, the things that he's done, two-time champion, I believe. Yes. Um, to put somebody, you know, to say I beat that guy and someone yeah. like that, I think he's an all fame. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm counting on beating a Hall of Famer, sorry. Okay, well, we, we certainly wish you would. Now, once in being the underdog, uh, usually fighters complain about I got no complaints. No complaints in no preparation complaints. for this. No, game. man, I got no complaints. They could have they could have put me at the Renaissance in the in the uh, yeah. basement and I'll still come up okay. on Saturday and I'm ready to do my job. Okay, so you're not you're not worried about the purse? Not at all. You know what I uh, I'm yeah. a competitor but as far yeah. as Business side of boxing yeah. goes, I'm not quite as competitive. I let my father and my manager. I let all okay. him do everything. Yes, yes. I allow him to do everything, and I and I, I, uh, I jump on his back and we ride. Okay. And with that being said, um, you know I don't, I'm not gonna complain about purse minimums, maximums, who's getting what, where they're, where they're at, and all that. Nah, that's not my job. My job is to go in there, and take care of business, and make sure that purse right. Raises the next yes. fight. Yes. Well, we we certainly wish you luck and um, um, tell um, young fighters out there how they. Like, I'm 26. 26. Yes. Tell young fighters uh, who are coming into the game um, what to do and uh, how they can emulate what you already achieved. If you want to emulate Showtime, Sean Porter, the things I've done, I'm gonna do work hard. Uh, Stay focused, be dedicated to what you do. It's way more serious than it ever was in the amateurs when I was going, you know, across the country, across the world to fight. It's way more serious. Um, and dedicate yourself, you know, stay, stay, stay sound, stay, stay ready all the time. My dad prepares me to the maximum in every fight, every, every training camp gets better. And uh, that's what you want to do, you want to get better. Work hard, stay focused. Now, the last uh, question. I know you need to go get rested um, for, for your fight on Saturday. Say you get past Paul, who would you really like to fight next? Uh, I mean, this, this, the list is unlimited in my weight class. Um, I mean, obviously at the top is Floyd Mayweather. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao, but he has a belt, you know, anybody who has a belt, anybody who's um, established themselves in my weight class is a dominant force and somebody that should be on my list. Uh, let's, let's get the ring Now, where is your, is the idea belt, right? Mm -hmm. Where is that belt? I mean, how, what does it look it's like? It's locked uh, away. It's locked away? <laughs> it's locked away. Uh, I didn't think about it, maybe I should have brought it here, but okay. you guys will see it. Uh, Oh, okay. Well, you, you see the mark. Okay. Well, we certainly wish you luck. Well.